Guys, Supercell, listen, they are giving three buffs to progression in this update. We've also got balance changes, duels, skins, and their gem prices. Plus, this new Brawl Days loading screen. That is, uh, that is really nice. Let's start by talking about the first progression buff. Now, this won't happen immediately, but starting in Season 10 of the Brawl Pass, the daily quests that, like, right here you see 100 tokens per quest, those daily quests are being buffed from 100 tokens every day to now being 200 tokens every day. So you get two of them. That's a big buff to progression. Additionally, one of the 250 token quests that you get from the Brawl Pass is now going to be buffed to be a 500 token quest, and that's with the Brawl Pass. Now, to clarify, that only happens during one of the weeks during Season 10, but we are still getting a lot of additional progression. Now, before we get too excited, you have to remember that the seasons are going from 10 weeks to 8 weeks, so there's actually a 20% nerf to how long we have to complete each season. And the way that it works out, though, if somebody is actively completing all their quests daily, they're gathering as many free-to-play rewards as possible, you're still able to get roughly the same amount of tokens in eight weeks for the eight week season as you used to for the 10 week season but it's in a shorter period of time so that progressions actually almost boosted by 20 percent i can't give you exact numbers until i know exactly how many quests we'll get every single week but that's a big buff to free-to-play progression the second buff is actually to the drop rate of token doublers some of you might recall that the drop rate went down from three percent down to 2.7 percent for token doublers with the last update now danny actually let me know that the drop rate was actually always 2.7 percent but for some reason there was a rounding error and it was rounding up to 3% even though the drop rate was actually 2.7%. So yeah, there was a mistake and so we didn't actually get less token doublers, it's just it accurately reflected. So it looks like Supercell was decreasing the token doubler rate down to 2.7%. But with this update, they are actually buffing the token doubler drop rate to 3%. So we are going to be getting more token doublers now than we have ever had in the past. Now let's talk about the third buff to progression and that is to do with golden tickets. Now right here what I am showing you is actually the price for golden tickets in the last update. Okay, this is old news. Golden tickets are now going to cost either one gem or one star point. They're, they're basically going to be free. Now, to be clear, this is actually a temporary change because they're actually planning on making golden tickets completely free in an update coming to in February or March. So basically the idea behind that is everybody's going to have golden tickets and everybody's going to be able to use the golden tickets to like better work out scheduling with scheduling conflicts with teammates and things like that. And also to plan ahead like, hey, do we want to use our golden tickets on this day or this day or this day? Like which of the three days is the best time? You guys kind of get the idea. It's, it's cool. It's a strategy that I've talked about in a lot of my content. And you know what? I'm really excited about this and technically this isn't actually a buff to your resources it's more of a nerf to the cost of something which that you have to spend if you want to be in a highly competitive club um, which is you know power points to buy these golden tickets which you're now gonna be able to save more power points for boxes each season or for the PowerPoint skins. I really like that. In my 100% Honest Update review, I talked a lot about the things that the community does not like about the last update overall. And golden tickets, overall progression, and even token doubler drop rates were a pain point that I talked about in that video because the community have brought, had brought that to me, right? And you've got to give props to the Brawl Stars developer team to actually listening to our feedback and immediately making some improvements. Not all game developers would even take the time to do that. So thank you, Brawl Stars. Now, we don't have any improvements or changes to gears yet yet and I don't have word on exactly what they would do or even if they are going to but I, I think it's very clear to them that we're not happy with gear progression so they're probably going to be working on some of these changes and they just didn't have enough time to put it into the game yet and I think that's completely fair once again Supercell has proved that they are willing to listen to our feedback and apply it so I think we could look forward to something like that in you know January February maybe March depending on whatever the next update is. Now let's talk about balance changes, and then I'm gonna show you skins and duels. Daryl is getting two buffs. First of all, his Steel Hoop Star Power is going to be just part of his super, okay? That means that he'll permanently reduce incoming damage by 90% when he's rolling. No matter what star power he is, he'll have it at level one. He will always reduce incoming damage while he is supering. And now his Steel Hoop Star Power will reduce incoming damage for Daryl for 25% for the two seconds after he rolls. Honestly, I really love this change because now his super is just always going to be the same, but you get to choose between shielding for two seconds after his super with his still hoop star power or doubling his reload speed for five seconds with his 
rolling reload star power. Up next is El Primo. He's getting a buff to his supercharge rate from his main attack. Instead of requiring 16 hits to charge his attack, he's now going to charge his attack in 12 hits, so he'll now require four full ammo to charge his attack. Now, you might remember a while back when El Primo's supercharge rate was crazy high and he felt ridiculously strong. Back then, he charged his super in nine hits with his attack, so this new charge is actually still not as good as it used to be, so I think that he's actually going to feel really good right now. Squeak is getting an 8% buff to his attack damage, which is actually pretty significant. At level 9, his attack damage is going from 1,400 to 1,512 damage, and at max level, it's going from 1,500 to 1,620 damage. Like I said, this is a significant damage buff. 8% is nothing to shy away from, right? But the way the numbers actually work out is that in 1v1 situations, Squeak will only be able to take out 10 of the 52 brawlers in the game with one less ammo. Either way, though, I think Squeak will be a bit more reliable. Next is Carl, who's getting a 19% damage buff to his super. And that is a big buff. At level 9, he'll now be able to deal 8,400 total damage with his super, which is enough to take out every single brawler in the game other than Frank, or like a few exceptions that they're shielding, right? Obviously, the damage goes up even more at level 11 to 9,000 damage with his super. That's actually really crazy if you think about it. And I think this will really make Carl a more competitive option because he'll be able to use his super a little bit safer on offense. Gale is also getting a big buff to his super damage. In fact, it is increasing by 75%. That sounds like a lot, but remember, at level 9, it's just going from 336 damage to 588 damage, and at max level, it's going from 360 damage to 630 damage. Gale Super just doesn't deal very much damage, and this might help nudge it a little bit, and you might even be able to get some kills with it, but it's not going to have a big impact on him, so I'm actually pretty okay with this change. Now let's talk about the brawlers who are getting nerfs, starting with Lola. When Lola throws her shadow, you'll notice a circular area around her. If her shadow is within that circle, you'll actually see it shrink down and get some little blue arrows on it that actually signal that it is now going to deal 50% less damage. If you move in a way that the shadow is no longer in the circle, the shadow will grow back up to normal size and the damage will no longer be cut in half. This is actually a pretty sizable nerf to Lola, and I'm really interested to see how this impacts her viability in the competitive meta. Was she OP just because you could stack damage on top of her, or is it just the shadow itself? I guess we're about to find out. Terra is getting a nerf to her support from beyond Gadget. The shadows that spawn are now going to have their health reduced from 1000 HP to 800 HP. In total, that's 600 less HP to eat through, which isn't a big deal versus some brawlers, but it is a big deal against other brawlers. Overall, I don't think this will change Terra's viability very much, but maybe it'll make her other gadget a bit more useful. The last on the nerf list is Sandy. His supercharge rate's being decreased from 6 hits to charge a super to now 7 hits being required to charge a super. And honestly, I'm really excited about this change because Sandy, I, he's just felt so strong for so long. And maybe it's the fact that I don't actually enjoy playing Sandy very much, but for whatever reason, I hate facing against a Sandy because his super just gets reused over and over and over again. I do still think that Sandy's going to be very strong, but I think he'll be less viable than before. Now I'm going to show you some duels gameplay with OJ, which you're definitely going to want to watch because we actually learned some interesting thing about duels. Then I'll show you all the skin animations, their release dates, how much they'll cost, and stuff like that. Welcome, OJ. We are going to do three sets of duels with special rules. Are you ready for this? What special rules? He didn't tell me about special rules. I want you to pick three brawlers that you'd be willing to set your brother on a date with. You think Bell? Okay. Belle, Nani, and Jesse. Sweet. <laughs> Jesse, because it's funny. Nani, because Nani's technically a, f a female. No! Oh! <laughs> okay. That was so obvious. The smoke closed in so fast. Oh, okay. So I can see that you are playing Nani now, and I am playing M's. You're still playing M's? Yes. You're joking. Oh, dude. You were, you were, in oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't know why I did not Let's think go. of that. <laughs> I was like, I'm totally going to win here. Uh, okay, so you're Nani. I'm BB. I feel like my brother has, you know, he, he needs he needs a little bit of a bad influence in his life. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> so I'm, I'm playing Interesting. BB here. Well, my ah. brother is going to be set on a robot. <laughs> because he likes robots? <laughs> No, just because I'm a terrible brother. And now I'm setting him on a date with uh, Jesse. <laughs> the 13 year old. <laughs> okay, th th at this point, that's not even a date. Th that, this is just a, a babysitting he's babysitting session. her. Yeah. He's, he's babysitting. 
Oh, oh come <laughs> on! I couldn't even reach to your amber. I want you to pick three brawlers that are your favorite color. My favorite color is powerful. No, an actual color. <laughs> okay, let's go. Here we go. Whose favorite color is stronger? I'm not sweating. <laughs> okay, I learned the hard way. I could have killed you. I could have. I could have killed you. Oh, oh my gosh! I almost teleported back. <laughs> I thought I had the other oh, gadget. Oh, man. All right, you've got Mac. What? How do you have your super already? Whoa. Yeah, so Max is super transferred to spikes. That is OP. Dude. Oh, my gosh. I, did oh, not, so I thought I was going to win that. that I thought you close. were going to win that, too. You were spike. Dude, you're just... There's nothing. Oh, oh, 50 oh I thought I, I, thought I was going to lose. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy, dude! Dude, that's a that's a big deal. The fact that you get the, the super carries over. That's yeah, interesting. That, that's gonna get nerfed. I'm calling that now. Like oh, you can man. pick brawlers like Edgar, charge the super, and then spawn as Lolo or something. You know, the three brawlers you consider to be the least attractive. So no matter what you do, I'm gonna spawn with my super, and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh. Oh, because of Buzz! Yep. What? Dude, that is big brain play. I just got cheese. <laughs> <laughs> this is... This sucks. <laughs> and then I activated my gadget in case I needed to. Dude, and then you used the gadget. Oh my gosh, dude. That's so big brain. Ah! Oh! <laughs> okay, so there you guys go. You have a little bit of an idea of what duels are like. Uh, make sure you guys go check out some more gameplay over on OJ's channel as well. For now, let's check out some more skins over on my channel. First up, we have Ho Ho Hobo. Ho 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 Bo will release on December 16th and will cost 79 gems. His attack looks like little explosive arrow presents, and for his super, he actually lays present mines, which is pretty cool. This is his losing animation. And this is his winning animation. Next is Gift Express Jackie, who will release on December 17th and will cost 79 gems. Her attack is like a really cool looking snowflake with some cool snow effects, and her super uses a lot of Christmas lights. And honestly, those effects are really cool. This is her losing animation. And this is her winning animation. Next is Slayer Griff, who will release on December 20th and will cost 149 gems. He attacks with Christmas tree ornaments, and for his super, he fires a bunch of Christmas stars, which actually looks really cool. This is his losing animation. And this is his winning animation. On December 22nd, Logmas Spike will be available for 49 gems. Now, in case you guys didn't know, he's the log from Clash Royale, but he's decorated with Christmas decorations. Now, for his attack, he throws out a Yule log lit on fire, and for his super, he covers the ground with Christmas lights, which actually looks really cool. This is his losing animation, and this is his winning animation, and this is a very, very high value skin for your gems. But not as high value as Classic Mike, who will be the free reward on December 24th. I'll cover the other free rewards later in this video. This is a throwback to his model clear back before the game was ever released globally. His attacks and super are actually nearly identical to what they were back then, which is really cool. Now this is his losing animation, and this is his winning animation. Next, we have Major Rosa, who will be the tier one skin for the Year of the Tiger Brawl Pass. Her punches actually look really cool with this skin, and she gets a retro 8-bit shield for her super. This is her losing animation, and this is what it looks like when she wins. Now, the tier 70 Brawl Pass skin will be Furious Fang, but I can't show you more details on that until the Fang Olympics. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button right, right down here. That is like really awkward pointing, but I'll be doing that sneak peek, so subscribe for that. The Power League skin will be Neon Nita, and honestly, she looks really cool. Just like previous Power League skins, she will require 60 round wins, not match wins, but round wins, and 25,000 star points to purchase. She actually attacks with these really cool flames, and Bruce gets a very cool skin for her super. This is her losing animation. Animation, and this is her winning animation. Next we have El Tigro, who will cost 149 gems. I don't know when the other year of the Tiger skins will be released, but it will be sometime in January or February. Now both of his attacks and his super actually look really cool. They get a little bit of 8-bit effects added to them too, which is cool. This is his losing animation. 
And this is his winning animation. Next is Orochi Edgar, who will cost 149 gems, and this is such an awesome skin. He attacks with his Orochi Snake Scarf, and this is what his super looks like. This is his losing animation. And here is his winning animation. Then we have Sway Master Barley, who will cost 149 gems as well. Now his attacks actually get this cool, I wouldn't say like neon sign effect to them, but they look really cool in this video game style. And his super adds even more of them onto the ground. It just looks really cool. Honestly, like way cooler than I thought he would be for Brawl Talk. Here's his losing animation. And here's his winning animation. Finally, we have El Corazon, who will cost 49 gems and will be available on Valentine's Day. Most everything is actually the same, other than obviously he looks different. But for his attack, when he actually hits an opponent, a little heart pops up, and that's kind of cool. This is his losing animation, and this is his winning animation. Now, the last thing I can show you in this sneak peek are these special giveaway rewards that are coming, and here's an image of that. If you guys want to, you can grab a screenshot of that, but please keep in mind that this is actually not a final list, and some of these might change. I'm going to be doing more sneak peeks for Grom and Fang, so make sure you guys subscribe right there. And also, you can subscribe to my Clash Mini channel, which is for Supercell's latest game. And watch more videos right here. Make sure you guys use code Kairos in the Brawl Star shop. And for now, this is Kairos time ticking by. We will see you in Brawl Stars.